Is it possible that because you're trying to work fast in the short term, you're actually hurting yourself and working slow in the long term? Hey everybody, what's up? Today I want to talk about styling, something which I'm actually pretty passionate about and I've did been doing that for a long time and I mean styling when you're building your design now most every design software today has kind of a styling component so whether you're doing your design in Photoshop InDesign you know Webflow whatever software you're working with you can create styling for your elements and usually do that so that you can reuse your styling and work more efficiently now after years of collaborating with other designers and you know interviewing other people and going over the work i can say that so many people are not using styling first of all a lot of them don't use it at all so they don't give proper styles to their element to their components or whatever it is they're designing other people are just doing it thoughtlessly and just giving like either random names or not really sure how to use this properly and a lot of times they're doing it because they're like, ah, I need to get this work done. I don't have time to write, create proper style, make sure that every headline uses the same style as other stylings. You know, they, they just wanna be in the zone, work, work fast and get the job done, right? And I think that this attitude is very short term and it actually hurts you in the long term because once you've, you have a super complex project and your client asks you to just increase the font a little bit or just try a different color or just use a different typeface now you have to go around and you know change it in a dozen places and it takes you hours and it's just gonna hurt you so much in the long term now i think it's it's really worth taking the time to think about what elements are you going to be reusing how you're going to be reusing them so i did a lot of print design back in the day and i used to create my my uh, paragraph style and character style in InDesign, including the spacing above, spacing below, by understanding what the layout is going to be. Obviously, now I do most of my web design in Webflow, and in Webflow, actually, you can't really work without giving styles, but Webflow kind of did it that if you actually just start designing stuff, they will give you automatic styling, and so a lot of people don't take the time, you know, um, with intent to define what this style is going to be give it a name so it will be clear later on how you're going to reuse this so when they're doing this thoughtlessly as i said they're not going to be able to reuse this and increase their efficiency so they're not going to be able to again reuse as in copy paste but also when they have to make changes as i've mentioned before it's just going to take them so much time and so what i encourage you to do is whatever software you're working with take time to learn how to styling works in indesign for example you can create shortcuts which is amazing you can just i would create stuff something like uh command one and so i'm just selecting a title command one bam it's a title and it just makes stuff so efficient now again webflow which is the software that i use today is where you really have to be mindful about how you style and how you structure things because it really in uh, you know the implication of how you structure the the website are huge it's going to be uh saving you a lot of time but also how it's going to look uh when it's responsive how it's going to look like when you're creating sub styles which is something that only happens when you're working for the web and so it's super super important take the time to learn and think about this don't try to rush things just because you finish stuff uh you want to finish it uh, early and fast think about how you're going to handle this in the long term how you have to handle this if you have to move the project along to a different designer and so take the time to learn it if you want to see how i'm thinking in my structure uh, principles structure and styling principles for webflow check the link in the description i've kind of took a little part of my uh, webflow mass cross and broke it down into just a little short class around styling which uh, i put on instagram and it just blew up so a lot of people thought this was helpful so check this out and uh yeah i'll catch you guys tomorrow <laughs>